a quiz tomorrow. And, and if I don't get an A on this, I'm going to fail my exam. I'm not going to get into medical school. If I don't get into medical school, my mom's going to cry. And if I don't get, I don't, I'm not going to be able to do everything that I want to do. Okay, so an invasive species is any species that's not native to a particular location. And they have a tendency to spread. And why is that so bad? Because they're known to cause damage to the environment, human health, and the human economy. Mm. And how did they get to this new environment in the first place? That's like the zebra mussel, for example. They are brought here through the ballast waters of ocean-going ships. So, in other words, you can say they got here on a boat. Hmm, on a boat, huh? We running this, let's go! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat! Stop hmm? Okay, uh, so how are they able to spread so easily? So they have these traits that allow them to outcompete native species. They include fast growth, rapid reproduction, and high dispersal ability. Why are we zebra mussels? I don't know, this is your dream. Well, what do zebra mussels do? Mm hmm. What a waste of a dream. Christy, focus! Isn't your quiz tomorrow? Yeah... Okay. Well, how can a foreign species like the zebra mussel succeed in an environment that it hasn't even evolved in yet? One of the ways is through empty ecological niches. But some of these successful introductions have small populations and little effect on the ecosystem. An example of this is with the common goldfish. They're found throughout the U.S., but they rarely achieve high densities. I can see my A now. And they stay there!